Hey guys, we're in Proverbs 3. This is still the Passion Translation. And let me just get there real quick. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, may your blessings of peace be upon everyone who watches these videos and please help us understand the wisdom and knowledge that we read today. And Lord, please bless uh, Lifeway Fellowship, um, Pastor Nathan and Sarah and their family and everyone who goes there, Lord. And... Um, thank you so much for your grace and deliverance and mercy and forgiveness, Lord. We're sorry when we sin. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins, Lord. And we love you and we pray now ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Proverbs 3. This is Passion Translation still. I can't remember if I said that. Okay. The rewards of wisdom. Verse one, my child, if you truly want a long and satisfying life, never forget the things that I've taught you. Follow closely every truth that I've given you. Then you will have a full rewarding life. Hold on to loyal love and don't let go and be faithful to all that you've been taught. Let your life be shaped by integrity with truth written upon your heart. That's how you will find favor and understanding with both God and men. You will gain the reputation of living life well. Oh, that's cool. Wisdom's guidance, verse 5. Trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision you make. Become intimate with him in whatever you do and he will lead you wherever you go. Don't think for a moment that you know it all, for wisdom comes when you adore him with undivided devotion and avoid everything that's wrong. Then you will find the healing refreshment your body and spirit long for. Glorify God with all your wealth, honoring him with your very best, with every increase that comes to you. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of inner joy. Wisdom's correction. Verse 11. My child, when the Lord God speaks to you, never take his words lightly and never be upset when he corrects you. Noted. For the Father's discipline comes only from his passionate love and pleasure for you. Oh, that makes me happy. Like I was talking about in that video that he was blocking me for like on New Year's Eve, but now, I mean, I've been glad that he taught me a valuable lesson about everything that I have. So that just means he loves and takes pleasure in me, which makes me happy. Even when it seems like his correction is harsh, it's still better than any father on earth gives to his child. Those who find true wisdom obtain the tools for understanding the proper way to live, for they will have a fountain of blessing pouring into their lives. To gain the riches of wisdom is far greater than gaining the wealth of the world. As wisdom increases, a great treasure is imparted greater than many bars of refined gold. It is more it is a more valuable commodity than gold and gemstones, for there is nothing you desire that could compare to her. Wisdom extends to you long life in one hand and wealth and promotion in the other. Out of her mouth flows righteousness and her words release both law and mercy. The ways of wisdom are sweet, always drawing you into the place of wholeness. Seeking for her brings the discovery of untold blessings for she is the healing tree of life to those who taste her fruits. And... She here is wisdom. In case you guys didn't know. 
Wisdom's Blueprints, verse 19. The Lord laid the earth's foundations with wisdom's blueprints. By his living understanding, all the universe came into being. By his divine revelation, he broke open the hidden fountains of the deep, bringing secret springs to the surface as the midst of the night dripped down from heaven. Wisdom, our hiding place. My child, never drift off course from these two goals for your life. To walk in wisdom and to discover discernment. Don't ever forget how they empower you. For they strengthen you inside and out and inspire you to do what's right. You will be energized and refreshed by the healing they bring. They give you living hope to guide you. And not one of life's tests will cause you to stumble. You will sleep like a baby, safe and sound. Your rest will be sweet and secure. You will not be subject to terror, for it will not terrify you. Nor will the disrespectful be able to push you aside, because God is your confidence in times of crisis, keeping your heart at rest in every situation. Wisdom in Relationships Why would you withhold payment on your debt when you have the ability to pay? Just do it. When your friend comes to ask you for a favor, why would you say, perhaps tomorrow, when you have the money right there in your pocket? Help him today. Why would you hold a grudge in your heart toward your neighbor who lives right next door? And why would you quarrel with those who have done nothing wrong to you? Is that a chip on your shoulder? Don't act like those bullies or learn their ways. Every violent thug is despised by the Lord, but every tender lover finds friendship with God and will hear his intimate secrets. The wicked walk under God's constant curse, but godly lovers walk under a stream of his blessing, for they seek to do what is right. If you walk with the mockers, you will learn to mock, but God's grace and favor flow to the meek. Stubborn fools fill their lives with disgrace, but glory and honor rest upon the wise. Okay, chapter four. A Father's Instruction. Listen to my correction, my sons, for I speak to you as a father. Let discernment enter your heart, and you will grow wise with the understanding I impart. My revelation truth is a gift to you, so remain faithful to my instruction. For I, too, was once the delight of my father, and cherished by my mother, their beloved child. Then my father taught me, saying, Never forget my words. If you do everything that I teach you, you will reign in life. So make wisdom your request. Search for the revelation of life's meaning. Don't let what I say go in one ear and out the other. Stick with wisdom and she will stick to you, protecting you throughout your days. She will rescue all those who passionately listen to her voice. Wisdom is the most valuable commodity, so buy it. Revelation knowledge is what you need, so invest in it. Wisdom will exalt you when you exalt her truth. She will lead you to honor and favor when you live your life by her insights. You will be adorned with beauty and grace, and wisdom's glory will wrap itself around you, making you victorious in the race. Two Pathways My son, if you will take the time to stop and listen to me and embrace what I say, you will live a long and happy life full of understanding in every way. I have taken you by the hand in wisdom's ways, pointing you to the path of integrity. Your progress will have no limits when you come along with me, and you will never stumble as you walk along the way. So receive my correction no matter how hard it is to swallow, for wisdom will snap you back into place. Her words will be invigorating life to you. Do not detour into darkness or even set foot on that path. Stay away from it. Don't even go there. For troublemakers are restless if they are not involved in evil. They are not satisfied until they have brought someone harm. They feed on darkness and drink until they are drunk on the wine of wickedness. But the lovers of God walk on the highway of light, and their way shines brighter and brighter until they bring forth the perfect day. But the wicked walk in thick darkness like those who travel in fog, and yet, don't have a clue why they keep stumbling. Healing words, verse 20. Listen carefully, my dear child, to everything that I teach you and pay attention to all that I have to say. Fill your thoughts with my words until they penetrate deep into your spirit. Then as you unwrap my words, they will impart true life and radiant health into the very core of your being. 
So above all, guard the affections of your heart, for they affect all that you are. Pay attention to the welfare of your innermost being, for from there flows the wellspring of life. Avoid dishonest speech and pretentious words. Be free from using perverse words no matter what. Watch where you're going. Set your gaze on the path before you. With fixed purpose, looking straight ahead, ignore life's distractions. Watch where you're going. Stick to the path of truth and the road will be safe and smooth before you. Don't allow yourself to be sidetracked for even a moment or take the detour that leads to darkness. I have never read any of Proverbs, but I mean, this is a given. It is like the wisest thing I've ever read. Okay, verse or chapter five. Avoid promiscuity. Listen to me, my son, for I know what I'm talking about. Listen carefully to my advice so that wisdom and discernment will enter your heart. And then the words you speak will express what you've learned. Remember this. The lips of a seductress seem sweet like honey, but and her smooth words are like music in your ears. But I promise you this, in the end, all you'll be left with is a bitter conscience, for the sting of your sin will pierce your soul like a sword. She will ruin your life, drag you down to death, and lead you straight to hell. She has prevented many from considering the paths of life, yet she will take you with her where you don't want to go, sliding down a slippery road and not even realizing where the two of you will end up. Listen to me, young men, and don't forget this one thing I'm telling you. Run away from her as fast as you can. Don't even go near the door of her house unless you want to fall into her seduction. In disgrace, you will relinquish your honor to another, and all your remaining years will be squandered, given over to the cruel one. Why would you let strangers take away your strength while the labors of your house go to someone else? For when you grow old, you will groan in anguish and shame as sexually transmitted diseases consume your body. And then finally, you'll admit that you were wrong and say, if only I'd listened listen to wisdom's voice and not stubbornly demanded my own way because my heart hated to be told what to do. Why didn't I take seriously the warning of my wise counselors? Why was I so stupid to think that I could get away with it? Now I'm totally disgraced and my life is ruined. I'm paying the price for the people of the congregation are now my judges. Sex reserved for marriage. My son, share your love with your wife alone. Drink from her well of pleasure and from no other. Why would you have sex with a stranger or with anyone other than her? Reserve this pleasure for you and her alone and not with another. Your sex life will be blessed as you take joy and pleasure in the wife of your youth. Let her breasts be your satisfaction and let her embrace intoxicate you at all times. Be continually delighted and ravished with her love. My son, why would you be exhilarated by an adulteress? By embracing a woman who is not yours. For God sees everything you do and his eyes are wide open as he observes every single habit you have. Beware that your sins don't overtake you and the scars of your own conscience become the ropes that tie you up. Those who choose wickedness die for lack of self-control, for their foolish ways lead them astray, carrying them away as hostages, kidnapped captives, robbed of destiny. Okay, chapter 6. Words of Wisdom my son, if you co-sign a loan for an acquaintance and guarantee his debt, you'll be sorry that you ever did it. You'll be trapped by your promise and legally bound by the agreement. So listen carefully to my advice. Quickly get out of it if you possibly can. Swallow your pride, get over your embarrassment, and go tell your friend you want your name off that contract. Don't put it off and don't rest until you get it done. Rescue yourself from future pain and be free from it once and for all. You'll be so relieved that you did. Life's Lessons When you're feeling lazy, come and learn a lesson from this tale of the tiny ant. Yes, all you lazy bones, come learn from the example of the ant and enter into wisdom. The ants have no chief, no boss, no manager. No one has to tell them what to do. You'll see them working and toiling all summer long, stockpiling their food in preparation for winter. So wake up, sleepyhead. How long will you lie there? When will you wake up and get out of bed? 
If you keep nodding off and thinking, I'll do it later, or say to yourself, I'll just sit back a while and take it easy, just watch how the future unfolds. By making excuses, you'll learn what it means to go without. Poverty will pounce on you like a bandit and move in as your roommate for life. Here's another life lesson to learn from observing the wayward and wicked man. You can tell they are lawless. They're constant liars, proud deceivers, full of clever ploys and convincing plots. Their twisted thoughts are perverse, always with a scheme to stir up trouble and sowing strife with every step they take. But when calamity comes knocking on their door, suddenly and without warning, they're undone, broken to bits, shattered with no hope of healing. Seven things God hates. There are six evils God truly hates and a seventh that is an abomination to him. Putting others down while considering yourself superior, spreading lies and rumors, spilling the blood of the innocent, plotting evil in your heart toward another, gloating over doing what's plainly wrong, spouting lies and false testimony, and stirring up strife between friends. These are entirely despicable to God. My son, obey your father's godly instruction and follow your mother's life-giving teaching. Fill your heart with their advice and let your life be shaped by what they've taught you. Their wisdom will guide you wherever you go and keep you from bringing harm to yourself. Their instruction will whisper to you at every sunrise and direct you through a brand new day. For truth is a bright beam of light shining into every area of your life, instructing and correcting you to discover the ways to godly living. Truth or consequences. Truth will protect you from immorality and from the promiscuity of another man's wife. Your heart won't be enticed by her flatteries or lust over her beauty, nor will her suggestive ways conquer you. Prostitutes reduce a man to poverty, and the adulteress steals your soul. She may even cost you your life. For how can a man light his pants on fire and not be burned? Can he walk over hot coals of fire and not blister his feet? What makes you think that you can sleep with another man's wife and not get caught? Do you really think you'll get away with it? Don't you know it will ruin your life? You can almost excuse a thief if he steals to feed his own family. But if he's caught, he still has to pay back what he stole sevenfold. His punishment and fine will cost him greatly. Don't be so stupid as to think you can get away with your adultery. It will destroy your life and you'll pay the price for the rest of your days. You'll discover what humiliation, shame, and disgrace are all about, for no one will ever let you forget what you've done. A husband's jealousy makes a man furious. He won't spare you when he comes to take revenge. Try all you want to talk your way out of it. Offer him a bribe and see if you can manipulate him with your money. Nothing will turn him aside when he comes to you with vengeance in his eyes. Ooh. Okay, chapter 7. Wisdom, your true love. Verse 1. Stay close to my instruction, my son, and follow all my advice. If you do what I say, you will live well. Guard your life with my revelation truth, for my teaching is as precious as your eyesight. Treasure my instructions and cherish them within your heart. Say to wisdom, I love you, and to understanding, you're my sweetheart. May the two of you protect me, and may we never be apart. For they will keep you from the adulteress with her smooth words meant to seduce your heart. Looking out the window of my house one day, I noticed among the mindless crowd a simple, naive young man who was about to go astray. There he was, walking down the street. Then he turned the corner, going on his way as he hurried on to the house of the harlot, the woman he had planned to meet. There he was in the twilight as darkness fell, convinced no one was watching as he entered the black shadows of hell. That's when their rendezvous began. A woman of the night appeared, dressed to kill the strength of any man. She was decked out as a harlot, pursuing her amorous plan. Her voice was seductive, rebellious, and boisterous as she wandered far from what's right. Her type can be found soliciting on street corners on just about any night. She wrapped her arms around the senseless young man and held him tight. She enticed him with kisses that seemed so right. Then with insolence, she whispered in his ear, come with me, it'll be all right. I've got everything we need for a feast. I'll cook you a wonderful dinner. So here I am, I'm all yours. You're the very one I've looked for, the one I knew I wanted from the moment I saw you. 
That's why I've come out here tonight, so I could meet a man just like you. I've spread my canopy bed with coverings, lovely multicolored Egyptian linens spread and ready for you to lie down on. I've sprinkled the sheets with intoxicating perfume made from myrrh, aloes, and sweet cinnamon. Come, let's get comfortable and take pleasure in each other and make love all night. There's no one home for my husband's away on business. He left home loaded with money to spend, so don't worry. He won't be back until another month ends. He was swayed by her sophistication, enticed by her longing embrace. She led him down the wayward path right into sin and disgrace. Quickly, he went astray with no clue where he was truly headed, taken like a dumb ox alongside of the butcher. She was like a venomous snake coiled to strike, so she set her fangs into him. He's like a man about to be executed with an arrow right through his heart, like a bird that flies into the net, unaware of what's about to happen. So listen to me, you young men. You better take my words seriously. Control your sexual urges and guard your hearts from lust. Don't let your passions get out of hand and don't lock your eyes onto a beautiful woman. Why would you want to even get close to temptation and seduction to have an affair with her? She has pierced the souls of multitudes of men. Many mighty ones have fallen and have been brought down by her. If you're looking for the road to hell, just go looking for her house. Okay, let's leave it there for right now. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your words of wisdom. And um, we pray, Lord, for more wisdom and for more understanding from you, Lord. Um, we cherish them like, you, like we just read, Lord. Please always keep our eyes on you, Lord, for you are our hope. And when we think about you, Lord, our minds and our hearts and souls are filled with joy and peace and happiness, Lord. And thank you for reminding us to always refocus back on you and, and to thank you for helping us stay pure, Lord. You're very good to us and we love you so much, Jesus. And we pray and ask these things in your name. Amen. Okay. God bless. I love you.